Hello, I am here to share with you Anahat Asana, or the puppy pose, and how we do it yin style. So things you should know about this pose, it's a back bend, it opens the shoulders and softens the heart. If you have a bad back, you should be really careful with this one. Um, same thing if you get tingly hands or shoulders while doing this pose, you are going to want to move your body or come out of the pose. So moving your body in such a way where the tingling stops or take a break and come back. We never want to allow our body to tingle. Okay, so I'm going to show you the basic pose from two angles. So the basic pose is knees under hips, and then you're going to reach forward and come to place your forehead on the mat. Here's the side view. Knees right under the hips, arms come out. So that might not be comfortable for everyone. So some ways of using props. One way you could change things up is by putting a bolster under the chest, coming down. Another option if you're having tight shoulders or your student is having tight shoulders, you could do one arm at a time with the chest supported. Another thing you can do if you're not using the bolster or if you're using the bolster, you can move your arms a little wider apart. Some people practice this with their chin on the floor, and that's okay if you know you don't have any neck issues. Um, you can also tuck the toes while you're here. Sometimes that can help people feel a little more comfortable. And you can also, you don't have to have your hips exactly over your knees. You could come a little closer forward, or you can go back. But just remember, if you go too far back, then you're doing child's pose. Um, let's see, a nice counter pose for this one is child's pose or advasana. So advasana is lying on your front side and just resting there to feel the rebound. Um, the meridians were targeting in this one um, is compression of the spine. So that stimulates the urinary bladder lines. Um, and then the stretch in the chest means the stomach and spleen are being stimulated. And then the arms and the heart stimulate the lung meridians. Um, so for this one, you're going to want to feel the edge in the upper back. Okay? So when you're coming down here, you're going to feel it in the upper back. Um, but you're also going to feel it in the lower part of the spine. Um, and then the humerus shoulder joint areas are also affected in this pose or where we want to feel the edge and then hold this pose for like three to five minutes if you're doing the pose with your chin on the floor instead of the forehead you're gonna want to be really mindful so that might be a one or three minute hold um, but yeah it's a great back bend and it can be used as a warm up if you're planning on doing a deeper back bend like saddle pose. So, Anahat Asana or puppy pose.